Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and within last videos we have discussed about load balancer. So this is final video of load balancer which I'm going to discuss about. Within this video we are going to discuss about questions which can be asked during interview or which can come in your exam if you are going to prepare for AWS certified solution architect associate or maybe for professional. So these are some questions which can appear. Fine. So what is target group first of all this is the interview question so target group is a logical group of servers which you associate with your load balancer fine let me show you here if you have some servers running so these will appear here so this is known as target group it means when you hit your domain your request goes to a load your DNS DNS forwards the same request to load balancer now load balancer receives that request and decides that what is proper or actual host which can serve this request load balancer transfers that request to your real server real server serves the request and sends it back to load balancer and load balancer responses to your end user this is how it works okay fine now uh, how many types of load balancers are there if you have not seen my previous videos if you have not watched that so please watch because there I have described complete environment of AWS load balancers like classic application and network load balancer fine so what we are going to see here is we are going to check that uh, what does it mean what can be done with this so first of all we can modify security group here and there is a question for interview can we enable termination protection against your load balancer yes you can enable it how just go to attributes edit attributes and enable this if you want to have access log so many time it is asked that I want to see what sort of logs are coming on my load balancer so you can enable this using your edit attributes option let me show it again you will go to a description box this is descri uh, description tab you will go here after that you will go to your edit attributes click here you can enable your delete production time idle timeout you can enable and after that you can enable your access log just mention the s3 bucket name wherever you want to store your logs and that is it create this location for me if the particular bucket does not exist so it will create a bucket for you fine so i'm not going to enable this for now now let us talk about listeners what are listeners listeners are those real server which are added within this web server you can add multiple listeners you can add multiple ports within your load balancer for example if someone says can i enable http and https traffic on same load balancer yes you can enable you can add multiple port on the server you will have to select a protocol then after you will have to say for example 8080 port then if you have multiple target groups you can select either of so currently i have only one so i'm going to select this one and you can create so there will be one more listener created but this is give, this is going to give me some warning only like security group for your load balancer does not allow traffic on this port reason being because i enable only one port in that however the particular port the particular listener has been created but because i did not allow port 8080 in my firewall rule so it is showing some warning monitoring you can add some monitoring here you can see what all monitoring is enabled so these are something which can be asked to you within interview if you want to add some tags so you can fine now what is it if you want to edit subnets for example if you forgot to select all the availability zones like you selected only one but now you have a requirement that you want to enable one another server within different availability zone availability zone means geographical area where your data center is created from the side of AWS but that lies inside Singapore region only so availability zone equal to one data center and region equal to a collection of data centers fine so if you want to add two or maybe three availability zones you can add without any problem so you can add availability zone or you can add subnets one subnet is equal to one availability zone now edit IP address type if you want that your IP address should be modified and uh, you want to have dual stack or maybe you want to have only IP, dual stack means ipv6 and ipv4 both aws elastic load balancer supports so you can modify that i'm not going to do that okay 
then after if you want to add the security group just before a moment we saw that there was one problem that uh, port 8080 wasn't allowed so if you want for example if this port this with this security group allows port 8080 so I can associate this security group as well with my load balancer fine so now my load balancer supports two security groups okay so this is how it works guys now what is difference between application and network load balancer let me tell you so if you have application running where you want to have quite flexible routing and specifically application load balancer is used only in those cases when you are going to do context path based routing for example your site is www.abc.com slash xyz so slash xyz is your context path if you want to do routing on this particular context path so you can use application load balancer but if you want that uh, your t only your tra your tcp okay this is known as layer 7 load balancing there are multiple layers in osi so you should know that application load balancer works on port 7 uh, uh, that particular layer 7 load balancing it does but if you talk about network load balancer so that supports layer 4 load balancing it means on network level it will it will decide traffic that way to go where not to go when any client hits the server so when request is raised request is handed over to your server which is a load balancer load balancer decides where to send this request de depending on algorithm which is by default round robin so the request will be sent to one server and after that it will be sent to another server so this is somehow it works okay so one more question is here when we create load balancer so what are the states of a load balancer so states are first of all when you create load balancer so state is provisioning this is exam question and so many times it it has been uh, appeared within exam moreover this this question can be put in interview as well that what are states of load balancer so there are three states first of all is provisioning when you create load balancer and that is yet not available so that is in provisioning then after this is active and after that this is failed so these are three states of your load balancer okay so one more question is here that how many types of operating system does your load balancer support as target so there is no definition of that it means whether you are working on windows whether you are working on linux red hat you are working on uh, either of servers you are working on if your web application is running fine so load balancer will for sure transfer traffic to your rail server and and there will be no problem at all okay so there is one more question that how many ports can I use to add a listener okay as I have added two listeners here so if I want to add one more listener so how many ports can I use so you can use one two six five five three five so these are the maximum ports which are available currently so you can use either of port for configuring your listener so this is it and uh, obviously if you want that if you want some other questions i'm going to share one description uh, i'm going to share one url within description box for this uh, for these FAQs like what and why we, if we want to know about if you want to know more about this particular how do i decide what which, lo which load balancer to use this is aws official site you can go through it and you can utilize this so thank you very thank you so very much for watching this video guys have a good time if you have not subscribed to this channel, so please subscribe, share this with channel with your friends as they can also utilize and they can also strengthen their back backbone in terms of technology. So thank you very much. Have a good time. Thank you.